Right, uh, welcome to the Robert Show. We are here at NVIDIA GTC. It's day one and look who I with me, Mois from DDN. Mois, welcome to the Robert Show. Thank you very much. It's your debut and I'm super excited to chat with you. But just for audience, would you like to quickly introduce yourself? Tell us more about what you do at DDN. Sure. I'm a computer scientist with about 35 years of experience. I've worked on large projects for NASA and uh, large banks like nice. London Stock Exchange and others. And I'm uh, responsible for enterprise AI for yep. DDN. That's fantastic. Uh, since we are here at NVIDIA GDC and we've been started seeing you know, a lot of conversations that's happening at the DDN booth. Uh, what have you been hearing from the folks around? Uh, what What are they excited about? Well, look, at the end of the day, right, obviously AI is massive. However, right. when you think about AI, okay, uh, and ChatGPT was the AI moment which propelled everything. Yep. However, ChatGPT really, if you think about it, is a natural language processing capability. Yep. Um, many of the AI capabilities, especially in the financial services world or in health sciences, yep. what you'll notice is that you're using predictive AI capabilities maybe more than some of the LLM types of things. So what we're trying to do is really look at how architecturally you can support any and all of these capabilities, yep. which really at the end of the day, right, you think about it, AI doesn't work without data. Very and true. relevant data is the most important thing because like they say, garbage in, garbage out. So how do you create relevant data that you can have your models leverage and be able to provide intelligence? Yeah. What do you need? You need intelligence, right? It's not just about trying to come up with the next word or a cool paragraph or a poem. Very it's cool. being able to predict, you know, whether it's in life sciences, how I can uh, do diagnosis or create drugs that have impact on humanity. That's really something that is very exciting for me personally because I've very come nice. from finance, but you know, never had the. Uh, um, ability to apply that in other areas. Yeah, I love it. Uh, those are fantastic insights, Moise. Uh, since we're on this topic of you know intelligence, and I know DDN has like data intelligence platform, and you all have been doing a lot in this space. Uh, uh, and since AI models are advancing rapidly, right? Why data intelligence more are more critical than ever? What do you think about that? Well, look. Anything and everything we do today, yep. okay, results in data. Okay, True. and data has been growing faster than you know anything on the planet. Because everything from a video recording that you're looking at to an audio recording to uh, MRI scans to X-rays, right? Data is growing faster than you know it ever has. Yep. And again, when you're looking at finding insights, because that's how a business either profits or loses money, right? How do you find insights? Insights are all hidden within that data stream and data ocean. Yep. So your ability to be able to find exactly what that data is and how to find that relevant information is really the key. So, you know, and if you think about it, the fact that NVIDIA uses DDN as their data intelligence platform exclusively. Exactly. Yeah. To me, that's mind blowing. I mean, I come from finance and, you know, having the ability to work with a partner yep. that has that level of impact on the planet, it, it's very exciting. That's awesome. Yeah, it's good to always see the partnership that you all have with NVIDIA and how, you know, they've been kind of utilizing the uh, data intelligence platform as well. I'm kind of curious to also learn a little about uh, the biggest intelligence driven challenges that enterprises face. Uh, what do you think about that uh, when deploying AI at scale? There are, and you come from the enterprise world, so I'm pretty sure who better than you would know about, you know, the challenges when you deploy AI at scale. So any thoughts on that? Well, so I've been designing and helping companies um, leverage data, yep. right? If you think about that data, you have two issues there, okay? You either have just streams of data coming in that you need to be able to capture in real time. Yep. So obviously there's a real time element to it. And then you have historical data 
Yes. Which is massive as well, right? Regardless of whether you're thinking about finance, where I might have option chains um, and other types of uh, uh, data that has been sitting there for you know 20 years. And when I'm back testing my models, yep. I need all of that data available to me. When I go to access that data, how quickly can I access it? It really matters because if my GPU is sitting there, which today, as you know, in the AI world, one of the biggest investments are the, those GPUs. Exactly. If that GPU is sitting idle for 30% of its time, how much money am I losing, right? Yeah. It, it has a real impact on my bottom line. Yeah. So being able to make sure that you can provide data pipelines with appropriate data that my GPU can be processing is absolutely critical. Very important. So your ability True. to be able to say how I get relevant data, which is really having the right metadata key value stores, so given a key, I can come up with the data that I need, or being able to find data, you know, for graphical neural networks and other things like that, how you find those embeddings, it's a critical problem. And what we're doing at DDN, which is really exciting for me, is that we're really looking at it from above the stack. Mm. If you think about many of the other data companies, they are providing capabilities that are storage-based capabilities that are coming from the bottom. Yep. What we're really trying to do is how we provide capabilities from a use case perspective so that you can think about any given use case and how that use case leverages data intelligence and we provide that intelligence up the layers. Yeah, no, right. I think this is very important in terms of you know how enterprises kind of also operate and how they can actually deploy AI at scale and how you're helping to that for. I mean, look, think about it this way, okay? Give you a really quick example. Uh, think about the biggest payment processors out there. Visa, MasterCard, American right. Express, right. okay? They're normally seeing hundreds of thousands, if not millions of transactions coming in, okay, in mm. short quantas. They have to be able to bring in those and make decisions on those transactions quickly because otherwise they're going to lose money. So right. it's relevancy, it's the speed, and the ability to continue to make sure that their models are kept up to date. Very That's important. That's really what you know, we're trying to do and working with some, some of the partners that we have to do, deliver that. Love it, thanks for sharing that. Uh, I also have an uh, interesting question around how does DDN's AI native intelligence uh, optimize real-time decision making? Because like you're talking about transaction, a lot of those happen real-time. It's kind of, of curious to know a little about that. Well, okay, so given DDN's um, uh, background, right? Yep. I mean, they, they have been present in 60% of the supercomputers on the planet. Yep. So uh, they have the, uh, uh, the ability to leverage some of the highest speed fabrics on the planet and tightly integrate those fabrics into their solutions. Yep. So what's exciting from that point of view, right, is not that somebody else cannot come up with the same type of a fabric and connect it. However, when you're trying to do that, the amount of space it takes and the amount of effort it takes, right? Yeah. It is literally 10 times as much as what you would get from a DDN pre-packaged solution. Right. So what you're getting is the ability to deploy these solutions in a much, much smaller footprint that continues to keep your biggest investment being the GPU working at 100% efficiency instead of literally most GPUs are working at 70% efficiency. Yeah, I think uh, that's a very important point that you've mentioned and also the the wide range of, you know, the computing power that DDN kind of gives across is amazing. Uh, also quickly wanting to learn a little about um, uh, the recent use cases that you might have come across in the customers that you all are working with. I know you all work with a very large uh, large enterprises out there. Uh, so any use cases that you can share with our audience, we wouldn't want the names, but at least the industries. Well, we can certainly talk about all kinds of industries. However, even publicly, right, um, DDN has enabled XAI, 
with some, one of the largest deployments on the planet of yep. uh, the, you know uh, 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 the data capabilities. Okay? Yes. So that's quite amazing. Um, we have use cases in the um, automobile sector where you know some of the largest EV manufacturers. You could take guesses at that. Yeah. Uh, are leveraging you know hundreds of petabytes of space. I would say similar types of things in the uh, financial services space where high frequency trading, which is really based on the fact that how quickly can I access appropriate information right. and then act on that information, right? Mm. So one thing when, that we think about, right, when you're thinking about generative AI and other things, these systems are normally based on response to a query, right? That's, nice. that's a gen AI yeah. system. However, the world is evolving to a reactive system that takes actions based on intelligence and reasoning. Yep. And those are the agentic AI systems that are being so created. Yeah. And you know, we're playing a role in all of that. So whether that be in healthcare, and we're working with some of the largest research hospitals and uh, other facilities that do drug discoveries, which is mind-blowing for me. I'm, I'm really honored to be doing my part in that equation. Yeah. As well as in finance, energy, you know, you name it. it it's, it's at the end of the day, look, seriously, it's a data game. It's an information game, right? Very true. Without information, you can never make appropriate actions. You can never take an appropriate action without the right information. Yes, exactly. Uh, that's very important uh, point that you mentioned about. Also, quickly wanting to learn a little about uh, what's next at next at DDN. I know we've seen uh, pretty good announcements at uh, the keynote today. Uh, Jensen mentioned about DDN as well, so which nice. is great. But uh, wanting to learn uh, what's next uh, for DDN in enterprise AI automation and real-time intelligence. Anything that you can share? Well, we can tell you that what you will find us doing is we're working very closely with end use cases, mm -hmm. which has the most impact on humanity, finance, and you know energy, life sciences, and we're looking at it from a use case level. We're raising ourselves up the, the stack to say, how do we deliver you know, the best intelligence platform to the planet? So yep. it's, it's really about that. And, and we're working very closely with end users and partners to deliver that. So instead of trying to make a machine and a CPU or something like that, right? It's more about what is the use case, what helps humans, and yep. how do we deliver that use case in a way that's going to you know, explosively provide return on investment, uh, you know, total cost of ownership? Yep. I love it. Uh, these are fantastic insights, Moise, that you mentioned about. Uh, one last question, and that is for our audience. Uh, if folks want to reach out to you, learn more about the things that uh, uh, you all are coming up with or uh, the content that you're sharing, which is the best place? LinkedIn, X, where are you most active on? Um, I'm active on LinkedIn. I uh, post a lot of articles almost nice. on a weekly basis. Very Some cool. of the things that we spoke of, I have um, architectural um, uh, uh, blogs on it uh, Very cool. that, that shows how I would suggest implementing some of these things, so please look at that. And if there are specific topics of interest, I would love to hear that and I'd love to be able to write about it. That's awesome. Uh, Moez, uh, we'll keep the conversation going and love what you all are doing in this space. Thanks Thank for you. taking the time out and of chatting course. with us at NVIDIA. I'm pretty sure you all are jam-packed and very busy, but thanks for taking the time out. Such a pleasure chatting My with pleasure. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you course. very much. Yeah, man. Yes. Bye. Thank you everyone for joining us. Thank you.